Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Special shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So here I go talking about words again. Um, just to let y'all know, I'm starting a, this is gonna be the first video in a kind of multi-episode mini-series. Now here's the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, I don't typically like to do the mini series because then I got to create a playlist and then I got to, you know, whenever I make a series, I have to create a playlist and then set it up and then do it. It really is. It's not really a headache, but I, I just like to talk my shit, do as little editing as possible, put it out there and then just you know let it go where it's going to go. But here's the thing. I'm noticing that a lot of my this is excluding my podcast episodes because those are typically long. They're designed to be longer. Yeah, I just have to deal with that. You know, you know, just it just is what it is. Because usually in my podcast episodes, it's a long, drawn out, you know, overall discussion about something specific, and then I tie it all together at the end. My my videos, my blogs, my audio blogs that you will find on this channel, um, there are smaller points you know, kind of discussion topics and different things meant to help people in their relationships and in their everyday life. And it's, you know, just shit that I just bring to y'all, you know, for processing because it's shit that we all deal with. Y'all know the platform. I don't have to, you know, go over that again. But I'm noticing that a lot of my, my video blogs, they're very long, right? They're half hour, 40 minutes, an hour. And even though the points in all of those different topics are um, very poignant and they're very um, necessary to the progression of a lot of our relationships because these are, you know, 34 years worth, worth of experiences and speaking to different people about their experiences. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's very content heavy, but it's, it's not easily digestible because it's not as condensed as it could be. So what I'm, so however many videos end up being in this series this mini series um because once the last video of the point is done that'll be the end of this of this mini series but however many videos end up being in this mini mini series and however long each of these videos are because i'm sure that they won't be all exactly the same length because this isn't you know if i had to sit down and do this what this mini series is going to equate to. If I had to sit down and do it all in one session as one recording, it'd probably be like an hour and a half, two hours long. Um, so I'm going to chop up the points. So I'm not recording this video as you're watching it, however long this video is. It's not a chopped and edited piece of a two hour long recorded video. However long this video is, I recorded it by itself. It's separate. And then I'm going to record the next point kind of like a bulletin point i'm gonna record the next point and the next point and the next point as separate videos but then i'm gonna tie them all together in one playlist as a mini series so that you guys can watch them in the order that they're supposed to be in so this mini series is pertaining to um being in a relationship with somebody i don't care what you know if it's a heterosexual relationship homosexual relationship marriage live-in situation whatever it is any kind of romantically charged relationship, that's the point of what this mini series is going to be about. And more specifically, dealing with um, those less than uh, agreeable interactions with you and your partner. So, you know, not the conversations the, 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 that go well and the, you know, different discussions and the time spending and all that stuff. This is meant for the, the less than ideal, you guys don't see eye to eye those types of interactions. Here's the first part of that. This is the prefacing video. Um, majority of people think that if you're, if you're in a relationship with someone and there is a lot of arguing, there is a lot of, you know, constant arguing or not seeing eye to eye, um, you know, both sides going back and forth. People think that that means that the relationship isn't healthy. People think that that means that those two people just don't get along. My problem is, and this is why I started this video off, video off by saying, here I go with, you know, talking about words again. You know, I remember when I was in high school, my senior year in high school, 
my sex ed class. Um, I had a, my sex ed teacher, Mr. Sean. He um, he told a story once about him, his wife, he and his wife, and about how they never, ever, ever um, get into an argument. How they never, ever fight or anything like that. And um, even back then, I understood that that was very strange um, because to me, that's not normal. You know, I and I, I preface. A lot of my videos by saying this and I will always do it because people need to understand because of the nature of my content because of the seriousness of this channel and what it's here for this platform people need to know where I'm coming from and so even though you know for all my subscribers who I love and y'all come through consistently understand that I do this for the people who might just be seeing me for the first time and who might just be hearing me talk my shit for the first time I am a realist. I am a literalist. Um, when I talk, when I have an opinion about something, when I have interactions with people, you know, I use specific words for a specific reason because words have meanings. When pe I think that there is no such thing as a healthy relationship if you never have an argument with your partner. There's just no way. If you never have an argument with your partner, in my opinion, then you're not in a healthy relationship because that means that the two people are not communicating. There's no way that you can be in a close quarter relationship with someone, living in close quarters or seeing each other two, three, four, five times a week, spending extended amounts of time with that other person, and you never have an argument. There's never a situation where there's a difference of agreement. Um, it's impossible. It's not realistic. It's not human. If you spend an exorbitant amount of time with a partner and you never have an argument, to me that means that you two are not communicating. And if you're communicating, it's not in an honest way. Because sometimes people who are passive and people who don't want to start arguments or they think that an argument will be born out of them having an opinion about something that might differ from their partners, they just won't say anything. And that shit's bad because then you build up resentment. That shit is fucked. If you are in a relationship, you have a partner, if you have an opinion that's different from theirs, even if you think that opinion that's different may start an argument, cause a disagreement, cause you know a spat between the two of you, an exchange of words, trust me, take it from me. I have experienced this firsthand. I live my life by this. If I have something to say, I will not bite my tongue. And I've seen too many people in their relationships go to shit because there's always someone somewhere that just won't say anything because they just think that it's better to not say anything. But the problem with that is over a certain period of time, you start to build up resentments toward that person. You know, it's not that it's their fault. It's not that it's your fault. You're trying to avoid a situation, but I'm telling you. Communication is key, and it's not just about communication. It's about honest communication. Um, I, I, You know, there is no such thing as a relationship. People say that you got to have trust, you got to have, you know, compromise and all these different things. Yes. But if you go back to one of my original series on this, on this channel, on this platform, the series is called Relationship Etiquette. It's a long series. I think it's about 11 or 12, maybe 13 videos. Um, and which is also the title of my second book, which is going to be coming out in September on Amazon and Kindle, Relationship Etiquette. One of the videos in that series is talking about communication. It is vital. It's critical. It has to exist first. That has to be the foundation in order for your relationship to be anything. Um, and that communication needs to be multidirectional. It needs to be two ways because if I'm talking to you, but then there's no receiving that and then talking back, then that's not communication. That's just me talking to you. Or vice versa, if you're talking to me and I'm not processing what you're saying and then offering up a rebuttal or offering up, you know, my part or my, you know, c contribution to that which was said, then again, that's not communication. That's just one way talking and a relationship can't be sustained. The reason why I started off this mini series by talking about how important it is to communicate and how an unhealthy relationship is one that is many things, but part of an unhealthy relationship could be because either there's no communication or people just think that there should never be any arguing. 
there is a difference between arguing with a person and fighting with a person. People say that they, I think, when Mr. Sean told the class, you know, my senior year, um, we were all being introduced to each other in our sex ed class my last year in high school, when he said that he doesn't get into any arguments with his wife. I, th what I think he meant, because people confuse the words, and we use words as figures of speech rather than what they mean in the dictionary. I think he meant that he and his wife never get into fights because there is, it's a, it's a very, very deliberate difference, a very detailed, distinguished differences between an argument and a fight. And in my next video in this mini series, I'm going to break down the definition of an argument. I'm going to break down the definition of a fight. I'm going to tie the two together. And I'm going to compare and contrast the two so that I'm going to compare and contrast the two so that you all can see what the difference is. A relationship with fighting can become unhealthy. You know, whether that fighting is is screaming or if it's verbal, if it's, you know, if it's physical, whatever. But a relationship without arguing uh, is not a relationship that can be sustained for too long. And we'll break that part down in the next video. I'll pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. Let me know what y'all think about this one, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.